New artist alert! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Nathan, this is a new artist, just like I said. Certainly not new. We've heard of this artist before, but we have not reacted to this artist on our channel. And I don't think I've heard any song by Mr. Diddy. Have you heard of any song from Mr. Diddy? I don't even know who Diddy is. I know who Justin Bieber I, is. I think Diddy is Puff Daddy. I think. Oh, I think his name was Puff Daddy. And then they went to P Diddy. And now it's just Diddy. I don't know. Am I right, folks? Let us know in the chat. I think this is a fairly new song. It got released in 2023. And you're right. The Beebs, our fellow Canadian. Hmm. We have never reacted or heard a song on our. Oh, actually, no. Our first video. That's right. Check out our first ever video. We did Justin Bieber, didn't we? Oh, yeah, yeah. Ooh, did we? I think it was our first video on our yeah. channel. So if you go on our channel and you go to videos and you go to oldest, right? You know, you click mm -hmm. on the filter and oldest and the oldest pops up. I think the first video on our channel, we did a Justin. I swear we did Justin Bieber. Anyways, yeah, okay. Justin Bieber is our fellow Canadian. I think he's calmed down in recent years. Um, I think he's married now. Oh, this is from Cynthia. So this was Th Cynthia had to say about this. She goes, I don't listen to Diddy and Justin Bieber is okay. I don't seek out their music. But this video just came out a few months ago. Now, bear with me, she says. I don't think you guys will hate it. I hope. No. That's what she says. So that's an odd. <laughs> I don't... Wow. Way to go, uh, Cynthia, for taking a risk on music that we don't normally listen to. My, my hat, if I was wearing one, goes off to you. No, that is cool. We always like to explore new artists. Our wheelhouse isn't this music, and I kind of wish mm. people would give us more artists that are not in our wheelhouse. It might be a lot of, I would say negative, that's not the right word. It might be a lot of us saying, no, that's not really our thing, but that's the risk people would have to take. But I would like to try other artists uh, outside of our genres that we listen to. So here mm. we go. This song is called Moments, and it's featuring Justin Biebs. So uh, without further ado, Diddy with Biebs. I've been patient. Patiently waiting, I've been faking for a long time. And now I want you. Ooh, 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 I want you. Oh, oh, oh. Get in your bag, 
stay in your bag. Get in your bag, stay in your bag. Get in your bag, stay in your bag. Get in your bag, stay in your bag. Get in your bag, stay in your bag. Get in your bag, stay in your bag. Obviously, people are going to be like, <laughs> like I'm not going to speak for you, but I'm going to. I'll start. Like, of course, it's it's not in our wheel. It's not my wheelhouse. I'll speak for myself. Sorry, it's not my wheelhouse. But I'm trying to listen to it just as a production, right? Like, is this a good production? Is it well produced? Is it uh, trying to present what it wants to present to the audience that it's for? I know it sounds like what are you saying, Ryan? But I'm trying to say like, there's a, there's an audience for this music. There's an audience for R and B. Okay, mm -hmm. it's a song that I didn't feel anything. I don't have any emotional connection to it, mm. but I was just listening to it objectively. Okay, okay, so I'm not feeling the song, but that doesn't mean I can't appreciate some things from it. Okay, the things that were that I thought were interesting, at least, was to hear Justin sing because I don't think I've ever truly have listened to him sing. So what, what I like what he's doing here, it's an adult contemporary sound. So Justin's not a kid anymore. I think we always think of him. You know, perpetually mm -hmm. he's a kid and i don't know mm -hmm. how old he is but i don't think he's 18 anymore i think he's close to 30 he's singing like an adult and i know there's some obviously some auto-tune voice effects but they were kind of obvious about it so i don't think they're trying to hide it there was just some you could hear the some of the sound effects on the voice being used and manipulated but I, I know he can sing and he can certainly sing better than i ever could so i did like his mature kind of R&B sounds. And then that goes back to Diddy, because I think Diddy is the music guy. He's producing the music. He's providing the sound. So he's given this map for Justin to sing on. So it's a well-produced song. It's nice to see Justin sing in kind of a contemporary, very soulful R&B way. And I, I like this some of the horns that were used. There's definitely real instruments being used, because your drums and bass. And I like that. So I think Diddy's definitely, I think, he's, I don't know what the <laughs> album sounds like, but I would suspect he's, it looks like he's playing with some real instruments. There's a lot of good that's in this song. I just think it's, and I was reading the YouTube comments, and that's what I'm getting at. So I was reading the YouTube comments. The people that are fans of this, they like the song. They are happy with the song. They seem to be happy with it. People are like, this is great. Blah, blah. And so I get why they'd be happy, but it's not my song. I agree with everything you said. And I, I would add the following. Sorry, this is the the genre that it's hard. Like like you say, it's uh, uh it can be auto tuned, and that's fine. It's like par for the course for a lot of this music. It can have effects and all those other things. My only complaint is the drum beat. When I first heard it, I was like, oh cool, they're using like mm. just a straight up drummer, but it was a track. <laughs> Gosh, it could have been just regular drums. They could have had just a regular drummer playing, but I could hear the exact sounds being repeated. And I was like, oh, that's that's a missed opportunity. Because I, I like it when they kind of combine, when, when there's like a Venn mm -hmm. diagram. Here's some real stuff, and here's some right. produced stuff, and they cross over. I, I'm okay with that. It's like I can peek behind the curtain and go, oh, the whole thing is electronic? Aw. Mm -hmm. And I know that some people are kind of like, they don't care. And that's fine. Enjoy the music that you enjoy. I appreciate mm -hmm. more music that feels like I can almost be there with the the people. Um, and especially these days, as AI gets better and better, I'm kind of like, mm. man, AI is just going to like make all the music for us. <laughs> We're just going to well, sit back. There's going to be a newer genre appearing more and more where we start to appreciate, oh, that you can hear the mistakes and you appreciate the mistakes mm. more because they're human, they're real. And, and not produced by a computer. Just like you, I know people enjoy this song. All right. Thank you so much, uh, Cynthia. <laughs> we didn't hate it. She's right. She goes, I don't think you guys will hate it. No, we don't yeah. hate it. We didn't That's hate it. Our, definitely out of our wheelhouse. And we faced it. We looked at it. We gave our thoughts. And go Biebs. We're rooting <laughs> for you. We're rooting for you. We haven't had a, a Biebs song where we're like, woohoo. There could be one out there that we might actually enjoy. Hmm throwing that challenge out to the world to see if you can find a Beeb song that we would actually 
think is a great song. Baby, baby, baby. <laughs> All right. Uh, thanks, everybody, for joining us. More reactions. Check them out. We got lots on this channel. We'll see you in the next one.